Yo, what's good guys, Coach Attack here. So today we have a software review for the uh, Cooler Master ARGB controller. Now I did review this controller. I didn't know that it had a software base. I didn't know that it was compatible with uh, Cooler Master, uh, the Cooler Master Plus software. I wanna say that's what, that's what you call this, the Cooler Master Plus software. Uh, there was no literature on the box saying it was compatible. There was nothing in the, on their website saying that this uh, controller was compatible with the Cooler Master uh, Master Plus software. So the only reason how I found out was actually from you guys. You guys left a bunch of comments saying, yo, Kosh, you kind of dropped the ball. And I was like, okay. So I had to basically go back, put it in, because from what I saw, the USB itself, uh, using the USB, um, plugging it in via to the motherboard via USB was only from the firmware updates. Again, that's what it said on their website. Well, that's what actually what it says on their website. But Regardless, I did review the controller itself for the built-in functionalities. If you guys wanna watch that video, I'll have it in the description, I'll throw a card and have all those things anyways. But now, this is just the software review. Um, it's two things I wanna go over. I wanna talk about the Razer Chroma Synap the Synapse uh, software, as well as we're gonna talk about this of software as well, which software is better. Now, the controller itself is $60. The Razer controller, the Chroma, is 40 bucks. Now. Straight off the bat, look, before I even doing, do I think that this thing is worth $60? I do not, unless if you use the RGB uh, functionalities, if you guys are gonna use the ARGB functionalities, if you, got, if you guys wanna use the different ports for the, you know, the temperature testing and all that stuff that this controller does, maybe. But if you just want something simple, concise, and if you want just something working, you don't wanna spend too, mu too much on it, I would probably go with the Razer Chroma, but the thing is with the Razer Chroma, it's a little big, it's a little bulky. However, it does support up to more fans. Now, you could individually put in six fans compared to this controller where you could only fit four fans. So again, you know, there's a hit and miss, there's pros and cons on both of these things. In this video, we're gonna go over that right now. But anyways, back to the software. So essentially what you get, once you get the software, you get in the setup stage. Now. Here in this example, which I'm using, I do happen to have the MF120 Halo fans. I did review them I'll, as well as I'll have that in the description and I'll have a card. Now these are the white versions. Now you essentially, when you first get them, it, the software doesn't pick them up. So in my case, I just have to know which fans I'm using. The cooler here basically gives you the product, the fan, you know, are using any of the, the cooler master, the slicky flow as I call them fans. Uh, I mean, you guys see it here for yourself. I don't have to read it out. But anyways, again, same thing here. It gives you all the breakdown of different fans as well as you're using. Here I'm using the Halo fans. So like I said, this cooler only supports four fans. So the whack thing is, guys, since it only supports four fans, you have to daisy chain the other two fans. So like I said, six fans. So I can't individually customize the color. So for instance, if I want the rear fan to be uh, pinkish and I want the other fans to be blue, it's not gonna work that way because they're daisy chained. They're gonna, off, they're gonna basically output the same color. Now with the Razer Chroma, you could do that since it gives you up to six fans. And like I said, I did review that. I will have that in the description too. But anyways, let's keep it pushing now. So like I said, this is a very simple setup stage. We go to RGB lighting. And yes, this controller does support the four pin RGB. So if you want just solid colors, so if you want just regular red, white, blue, green, purple, whatever the heck colors, the RGB effects will give you. Now the ARGB effects give you these individual LED effects. So it does have that. You could do it via, you could essentially gives you the options here via motherboard. And then you could just sync all the colors via ARGB and RGB. And then essentially you could run through all these colors. I'm not gonna really go into too much of RGB, not a lot of people are honestly using it. Now for ARGB lighting, if you want it to work from the from your motherboard manufacturer, so with the three pin ARGB from you know ASUS, ASRock, I don't have to get over it, but mostly all the mobile manufacturers, you go to the ARGB option. So now in this option, we could essentially change color. So right now we just have it running at spectrum, right? And we're gonna go to reload, but quickly, just a spectrum, what you could also do is essentially you could slow down the LEDs, right? See now it's getting slower and then through here we could speed them up and this is essentially the fastest. I mean, we'll just put them on this in the sake of this video. And we could also adjust the brightness. This is on max brightness. These fans actually do do a good job going on brightness. Now we could lower it. The same complaint I had with uh, the Synapse software is the same complaint I have with this software. This is doesn't give you, it's a quick, click release. I don't know the proper phrase, the terminology, but I'm calling the quick, the click release. So when I 
press and hold, I want the brightness to go down. But how it does is I have to release, then the brightness goes down. It's a, I could imagine it's a quick software fix, so I hope that these guys actually do fix this. But here you guys get the gist, all the basically colors, you know, dim out and whatnot. So then we have reload. Um, you know, we could just set like different colors. Let's, we could set it to green, hit apply, and it's gonna basically give you this green effect. Again, we could lower the brightness and all of that. Uh, we could do custom colors. Uh, you could drag a custom colors basically tell you. So if you, if you like this teal looking whitish color, uh, I guess we could just drag it and something like that. We drag it and put it. Please drag color here for the background. Oh, drag it here. My bad. So we drag this color and then we could set this color. If you want this like yellow orange color, uh, and then you take it here and then you drag it and then you could put it essentially. And then these are just the regular presets or you could just hit random and you hit apply and it's going to do its random thing. But again, that's cool. And one thing I want to say about the software, if you guys are asking me like, Coach, which software works a bit? I want to say the, uh, the Master Plus, the Cooler Master Master Plus, it's a little more snappier than the Synapse. The Synapse, the Synapse wasn't as snappy for me, but this one is a little snappy. I got to give a Cooler Master that. They actually, software is pretty decent. It works pretty well. Then we have um, this effect. It does all of these things over here. We have the typical breathing effect. It just breathes. I mean, you guys know that. Uh, we have this effect. Does this, what is this, the riffle? Uh, does this uh, thing over here, the red, and then change. It's cool that I gotta say that I don't have to press apply every time for the colors to change. I believe in the Chrome, it actually gave me that. I have to, uh, I had to basically always apply it. In this, I don't, I just click it and the color automatically change, changes which is pretty dope. So if we want red, so it just goes to red. If we want, let's say just white, I just hit white. You see, that's that's pretty dope. It's very snappy. I, I am feeling that. We have uh, a demo mode. We have, uh, what is it, the fill flow. We have this effect. I honestly have no idea what this effect does. It does something, it looks pretty dope. I gotta give it that. And of course we have the typical rainbow. And then the, what is this, the multiplayer? Multi-layer multiplayer. I'm like looking at the side of the screen. Now in the multi-layer, um, okay, so in the multi-layer is pretty dope. So what we do in the multi-layer is, um, of course we could just turn off the LEDs individually. So since I have the bottom fan, let's say if I did it right. Okay, so how I have it is one through four is the bottom fan, right here. Let's let's do this like this, right? So that's, and then and then the top fan right is gonna is gonna turn off. So that what that means is five and six are daisy chain to these, right? So for instance, let's say I want one to be bum ba dum bum bum. Um what was that? I could do it on spectrum, right? We said I could do spectrum, I could do breathing, and then I could do reload, and then here I could do um let's say static right i could switch them up like that basically you know I, you could play with it you could do all your uh you know customized customizing needs and however you guys want to basically do them um what else i mean there's just different effects like i said you could customize them the right way and then you could essentially just lower uh the leds right you can make completely turn this off. We can make this brighter. So there's a lot of customizing features on it. So this, this is actually pretty cool. And then we have static and then we have custom. Now custom is pretty dope. This is where we go in and we customize the individual LEDs. Now I got to say one thing, uh, let's reset this. Yep. Reset it. Uh, let's go to custom. Now, one thing I got to say, which is annoying, um, is don't, don't tell me like reset everything. All right, so everything is fixed. What, uh, unfortunately, what happened is when I hit the reset button, right, I'm gonna cancel it, but when I hit okay, um, I try to restart the software, then I go, I, I restarted the, um, uh, the computer, it still didn't work. What happened was for some reason, I just basically just put no product and just re-put the fans, hit applied, and then it just picked them up. But, so as, you know, as I was saying, so the, the software did have a little bug. I mean, it happens, it is what it is. I'm not gonna really, you know, through updates and whatnot, I guess it fixed, you, you could fix that. So it, what's whack is you have to constantly individually do it with the Chroma, you basically just press and hold and you just select everything. And then there's a the bucket tool and I can do it. So for instance, if I want this fan to be essentially purple, you're gonna see uh, it basically being purple. And then if I want this bottom, 
Let's do it like just all green. I have to just constantly select them, select them, select them, select them, select them, and hit apply. And then you're gonna see that being like that. Now, if I want uh, it being more purple or blue, and then voila, it's blue. Now for some reason, the purple was kind of weak. Let's do that purple more because I'm like, what the heck is he even turning purple? Is something up? Hit purple? Okay, now it's like a purple in, in that in that sense. Uh, and then we could do it from this, uh, again, we could do it from the uh, for color. I mean, I don't know, guys. Let's do red. I mean, here, let's do it like this. I mean, shoot, I, I don't know. Let's do red on this side. But that's what I'm saying. It's annoying clicking these flipping colors every time we hit apply. And then there, you should do the red thing. Um, I guess kosher is really not that creative. <laughs> we got this teal color, and we could select them individually. Uh, but like I said, whatever fan you have them daisy chained in, that other fan would automatically be preset to that color. So whatever fan you have it. So uh, we could do this one yellow. So, I mean, listen, you guys get the gist. It's pretty cool. It's uh, at, it's pretty responsive. The Synapse software is very similar like that too. It was uh, pretty responsive in that sense. They were uh, changing colors pretty quick. Uh, and this bottom side, I mean, do, 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 let's do it yellow. I don't know why I'm feeling yellow right now, but I'm like going all OD on yellow. So altogether it has 24 LEDs that it reads here and then we're gonna select yellow. And uh, that fan should be white and yellow. As you can see, the outside here is yellow and the fan itself is um, for um, green itself spinning. But I mean, you guys get the gist. I mean, that's what it is. And then of course we could turn them off, but here we'll put them on and we'll just basically put them on um, spectrum as well. And yeah, I mean, pretty responsive, pretty dope software, I gotta say in that sense, but let's see what else we got. Uh, ba -bam. So this is the, basically the overview. So we can see what G CPU we're using, what uh, GPU, uh, CPU, the CPU usage, the GPU temperature, the deep GPU usage, voltage, voltage, as well as you guys can see here. Now, if you do have the whole full setup, if you have the, the Corsair headset, the Corsair peripherals, the Corsair cooler, uh, the, I keep on saying Corsair. My God, I just caught myself. I meant Cooler Master <laughs> Corsair. Cooler Master peripherals, uh, coolers, all that stuff. I'm not sure if Cooler Master makes monitors, which I don't remember them making monitors, but there's a monitor here. I guess LEDs you could put there as well. Uh, system lighting, uh, again, same thing. This would go if I have like a peripheral setup or if I have a cooler that other things, I could customize all the colors here and they're gonna do their thing and then I could lower the um, RGB LEDs. Now, one thing, the LED direction, for some reason, is not available here. It's grayed out. Let me know in the comments why it is. I try to figure out a million times. I just couldn't figure out why the heck is it actually um, grayed out. We could change, uh, where was it? We could change the background color as well for the LEDs too, which is actually pretty dope. Like I said, it's a very, very snappy software, which I give Cooler Master props. The Cooler Master Plus, Cooler Master Master Plus software is pretty snappy, which is dope. All right, next, so we click this little drop down over here and then we could go through other selections. So we have the screen follower, essentially like if I just take the screen and I just like, or I put like a, like a, it's, it's gonna take the ambient color basically from the mo mo uh, from the monitor that you're lighting and the colors are essentially gonna change. So if I open up a tab, if I open up something, I move it, the colors are gonna change. Next, the lighting maker, you know, this is like, I guess like every software it has, the Razer Chroma had some like the Corsair, the IQ software, you know, you can make your own custom lighting. So for instance, like this is preset, we hit it. It's pretty cool, I gotta say, you really have to play with it and you really, really have to have a lot of time guys doing this. <laughs> I've tried it a few times. I mean, these are presets that you can rock with. Now this will look dope if you have the peripherals added on to, you know, that would be like your mouse, keyboard, you got the headphones, you're all cool and mastered out, you're showing your colors, you know, you're rocking it, that'll look pretty dope. But even like this, you know, the effects and, you know, you could add, uh, where is it, right here, you press the plus, uh, you click and you just add different effects. I mean, it's like you could change right, left, like click this one, you could change this color. And then you could, uh, where is it? You could duplicate it, uh, where was it, uh, right here. And then to shorten it, uh, you could put this yellow. Um, let's, let's, let's put this in, oh, man, I don't know green a uh, red this one let's put green uh let's hit uh, oops let's hit play and this is how creative kosher is 
<laughs> um, what else? I mean, this is like, it's dope. I gotta say like, you really just, you could play with it. You can make all different colors and you know, different channels, which it shows you four channels because there's four ports as I mentioned. Um, so you could really customize uh, everything. You could set different, you know, just you could customize the colors, which are currently preset to, too, which is dope. I mean, this is nice. This is nice. This is personally something I wouldn't use because it's just way, way too much time. Like I said, you know, for the youngins, especially if school is coming back, I'm not sure you guys are gonna have time depending on when you're watching the video, but when school is out, I know you guys could sit down and just, you know, flex on each other, you know, when you're playing your favorite games and say whatever, um, uh, whatever best effects you guys have and you can post it on socials and whatnot now there's also music you can play with i'm not going to play music obviously i don't want to get hit with copyright strikes but just showing you uh different colors that you get uh, basically with the setups here which is pretty dope i gotta say this is actually uh pretty fuego um bum bum what else um you could you know delete the colors change the colors um you could sort them to different so there's plenty of things you could do um, so we went over this. The configuration just basically shows you the uh, controller, the software and whatnot. Different profiles you guys could create, of course. Power mode, controller hub, connect at least one keyboard. So you gotta have peripherals here. Unfortunately, I do not. Uh, but anyways, what do I think about this? Like I said in the beginning, me personally, I would most likely uh, go with the Chroma. Uh, with a Razer Chroma with a v using the Synapse tool, it just fit me a bit better. But at the end of the day, I showed you guys, let me know what you guys think. Uh, there's one thing I want uh, this next control of Cooler Master makes another one. I think they do have, a, uh, I think they have a different version, but I hope they make them smaller and the same thing for Razer Chroma. I hope you guys make it very, very small because it's easier, it'll be easier to, you know, just put it in the back of the case and just, just stuff it in there. And also one thing, they, it is magnetic. I didn't say it in the beginning it was magnetic. I wish in the back they would have showed that, you know, it's magnetic. It's just been easier for um, for the consumer and, and for the reviewer and whomever buys this product for them to know. But overall, not a bad sof software, uh, not a bad controller, a little on the pricey side, especially the competitor is uh, $20 less. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about the review. Let me know uh, what you guys think about the software and let me know just overall, your opinions and your thoughts, guys. Anyways, I'm Kosher Tech. I'm going to catch cats next time. Deuces!